So this is midterm 2E, spring 18. Uh, the question reads, a large block of material with permeability of 2 mu naught is found to be tilted at an angle of 37 degrees from vertical. The magnetic field inside and outside of the block are given, which is the B1 and B2. Find the induced surface current density vector and then the note is cosine 37 equals 4 fifths and sine 37 equals 3 fifths. Since we want to find the induced surface current density vector, we want to use this equation right here. And to find our N2, we're going to draw it perpendicular to the surface. So this is going to be our N hat and then seeing that this is 37 and this would be make it 90 that this angle is going to be 90 minus 37 so then that means when this is perpendicular this angle is going to be also 37 degrees so for more clarification this equation has more generic form, which is this equation right here. So the reason we chose N2 is because this block of material is the second medium. And, and then we chose the normal vector to be perpendicular and going away from the second medium, which is why it's called N2. If you wanted it N1, you would also draw it perpendicular to medium one, which is the air medium one. So then it would also be perpendicular, and that would be your N1. So drawing our N hat again, like this, 37, we, we could find the Y and Z components. So this Y is going to be negative because if we drew it here, it's going to go on the negative side, and Z is positive going up. So sine opposite over hypotenuse is the y so it's sine 37 and z is cosine so adjacent over hypotenuse so cosine 37 and from the note cosine 37 equals 4 fifths and sine 37 equals 3 fifths we can simplify our n hat to be negative 3 y hat plus 4 z hat over 5 so now going back to this equation, we want to find our H1 and H2. So but to find that, we need to use this equation. So H equals B over mu. So we, use, we would plug in our n hat, this over here, cross our b1 over mu1 minus b2 over mu2. Simpl so since we are given b1 and b2, we can simplify it or plug, plug it in. So our b1 is this and our b b2 is this. And our mu1 is given from here, mu1 equals mu0. And our mu2 is also given, is, which is 2 mu naught, which is this one right here. So simplifying, we want to have this turn into that. So we multiply the two, top and bottom, which would get us 6x hat plus 4y hat minus 2z hat. So now we could subtract this one from that one, which would simplify to this equation. So simplifying even more, we're going to get this, negative 3 y hat minus 7 over 2 z hat over mu naught. And then since we're doing cross product, we're going to use the y and z components and 
we're going to factor out the 5b naught instead of doing cross product. If we cover up, but we want a y, since we cover up y and we have two zeros, that means there's not going to be a y component. Same for a z component. So when we cover up, so now we want an x component, cover up the x, we can see that we use, we will only have an x component. So doing the cross product, it's negative 3 times 7, negative 7 over 2, which is this. Subtract negative 3 times 4. So then we have this for our x components. And then simplifying this, 21 over 2 plus 12, keep simplifying. And to add it up, we get 45 over 2, 45 can cross out with that 5, so you would finally simplify to 9 over 2 mu naught x hat, which is our final answer. So our final answer, 9 over 2 mu naught x hat, is our induced server service current density vector.